Hello everyone, my name is Alan Ellis, and I'm the creative director for OC Portal. And welcome back to the Mayberry Community website. And in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use a com code tag called if in group and our SU feature. And this is a great little tool that allows you to show different text or different different anything, present different information to different user groups. So for instance, we're going to start off by replacing this little welcome back admin. We're going to make this a little bit fancier. We're going to put a box here. And it'll show any of three different things. If somebody's a guest, it'll invite them to join the website or to log in. If somebody's a, a regular member, then we're going to ask them to upgrade their account to a super membership. And if they're a super member or an administrator, then it'll just say, you're welcome, great, great to see you again. So we can show different things to different user groups. To get started, you need to know the IDs of these different user groups. So click the admin zone, head on over to security section, and click this user groups button. Click edit user group, and this gives you a list of all your user groups. In my case, I just have six, but you might have a few more depending on what settings you chose in the setup wizard. So take a look at this. Guests are ID number one, administrators ID number two, and it goes up from there. So, let's leave this information open in this tab and go back and do our editing in a different Firefox tab. That way we can come back and refer to these numbers again. So, I'm going to right click the site zone, which is where we're going next, and I'm just going to open it in a new tab. And it'll come up over here. Okie dokie, let's come on down and get started. To edit this section, scroll down and click edit this page at the bottom of your page. Here we go. If you have the WYSIWYG editor turned on like this, I recommend disabling it just so that we can work with the raw code. So click Disable and click Discard because we haven't made any changes yet. So here is our main greeting block. We're going to delete this main greeting block and replace it with our own. So let's start off by making a new box. So open bracket, box equals, double quote, and we're going to say welcome. And watch this little bit of magic here. I'm going to say curly brace dollar sign username. This dollar sign username is an OC portal symbol and this will get replaced with whatever you, the name of the user is who's currently logged in. So in my case this will say welcome admin. If someone's not logged in at all it'll say welcome guest. Finish it off with a double quote and we're gonna add type equals double quote light. That just gives it a nice styling. Close it off. Okay now let's come on down and we're going to add this new tag. It's open bracket if underscore in underscore group. I'm going to say equals one. And this number one is going to correspond with, I'm going to come back over to the user group tab we have open. See how guests are ID number one? So this is a message that only guests are going to see, no one else, not even administrators. We're going to come back to where we're editing the start page here if in group equals one, close the bracket, and we can just have a nice little message that says, welcome guest, please join, join our website or log in. And close it off, let's do a slash if in group, close bracket. Now we should probably go ahead and make these links, this join and log in. So, actually, delete the word join. If you want to, you can click page up here and use the little wizard. I'm just going to type out the code myself. I'm going to say open bracket page equals, and this is in the root zone, so I'm just going to say colon join. So this will say this is a link to the join page, double quote, and in the middle here I'll type the caption, which is join. And I'll do a slash page here. And I'll do the same thing for login here just around it I'll say open bracket page equals double quote colon login and at the end of the word login do a slash page alright so we've got our message and now we just need to close off the box that we have opened up here so on a new line we can say slash box alright pass one is done let's come on down and save our changes and see what it looks like Okay, well so far it isn't very exciting because I'm the administrator 
and I don't see the message that we wrote for our guest, but I can check it out and see what the guest sees. Now, instead of actually coming down and logging out of the admin account and then logging back in and you know to, to see what it looks like, OC Portal has a really, really neat feature called SU. And it's this box down here in the corner that says username. What you can do is you can type anyone's username in here, and just like this tooltip says, it'll let you masquerade as that member. So to show you how this works, I'm going to click in here and type the word guest. And if you click SU, it'll open up a new tab. And now we get to see exactly what this page will look like for any guest. So here's our text that we typed. Welcome guest, please join our website or log in. And we can test these links. Join works. Click login. Takes you to the login page. So this SU feature is really, really handy because you can test out what it's like to be a different member and not need to worry about logging into the admin account and logging back out. You can see I'm still logged in. Over in this other tab, I can continue to, you know, use use the website, make more changes, and over in this other tab, just do a refresh and see what it looks like. So I'm going to close out of this new SU tab for now, and I'm back to the admin tab. Now let's add two more lines for members and super members. And I'll show you how to do this real quick. Let's come on down, edit the page again. And just like we added this first if in group tag, I'm going to add two more. This next one is going to be a message for normal members of the website, asking them to please upgrade to a super member account. So I'm going to make a new line here and do an open bracket if in group equals. Now, what should I put after the equals? Well, head on back to the edit user group screen. So what I'd like to do is make a little rule and tell this if in group tag to only show for people who are in this group or higher. So I'm going to make a little rule that says if you're in group 5 or above. So to do that, come back to the edit screen. So I have a few ways to say this. One way is to just say group 5, comma group 6, comma 7, comma 8, comma 9, comma 10, comma 11. I could keep going. And this is saying this will apply for any of these groups. Now a much more simple way to express this is to just say 5 dash 11. And that will target anyone in groups 5 through 11. Of course the problem with this is that if I want to come back later and add three or four new member groups, now I've got to come back to this screen and edit it again. So to save ourselves that trouble, I think the best way in this case is just to say 5 plus. Close it off. And this will target anyone in groups 5 or above. And that's great for our purposes. So this is a message for members. So I can say, hello. Let me do a bold curly brace username again. And now we can ask them, please consider upgrading your account. And then you can write a sales pitch in here or add images, but we'll keep it simple for this. I'm going to take this word upgrading and make this into a link for them. So at the beginning here, I'll say bracket page equals, and I want to target the purchase module, which is in the site zone. So you can also click this page button here if you're so inclined. I'm going to say site colon purchase. Double quote, close it off, and after upgrading, do a slash page. So now we've got our nice little link. Folks can upgrade their account. Close off the if in group.